Hi guys! Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. I am Madalena and today I have for you another recipe that's part of the vegan holiday series and it's also different than what I'm usually sharing on this channel because I have part of my creative process and hit and misses that I have with some recipes and it was so nerve-wracking to post this I actually didn't want to do it at the beginning but I think that it's important to show you that I have a process and sometimes it takes me a while to get a recipe right and I think that it would be fun for you to know how I'm doing things and uh, because of this you're gonna have the ingredients card at the end of the recipe so you're still gonna have the ingredients card with everything as usual but not at the beginning it's gonna be at the end so you get to see the process and uh, the ingredients and everything neatly done at the end so uh, yeah before we're gonna see the recipe don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, now let's see it i'm gonna start by showing you my ingredients and what i've changed i use whole wheat flour because i like it it adds fiber and more nutrition and i still use it some unsweetened soy milk because i think that the sponge is sweet enough some tahini or you can use sunflower seeds if you can't have or if you don't want to use tahini. Flax eggs or you can use chia eggs if you don't want to use flax or if you don't have it. And to sweeten it I first used date paste but it didn't work how I wanted so I've changed that to unreal unrefined brown sugar and for spices pumpkin pie spice and also some baking powder baking soda and a pinch of salt and now for the frosting i used coconut milk full fat coconut milk that i kept in the fridge and i used only the white part the fatty part from the three cans actually not only one and to sweeten it i use date paste and of course some pumpkin puree that I make at home. I just roast the pumpkin and blend it until it's really really fine and some pumpkin pie spice to bring everything together. Now let's see how I did the cake, what worked, what I've changed and how it looks in the end. As usual I start by mixing all the wet ingredients like date paste, tahini, soy milk, um, flax eggs and actually using date paste doesn't work for me at all it makes the cake too dense and i want a sponge like consistency because i want it fluffy and airy to frost it to cut into layers and frost it with that delicious coconut pumpkin frosting and yeah that didn't work but I've changed the date paste for unrefined brown sugar and I've mixed it with the wet ingredients and then added on everything on the dry ingredients and I mixed using a whisk or a fork or a spoon whatever you like and when everything is mixed put it in a cake tray I use this one and you can bake the layer separately if you want but I did not want to do that and while everything is baking I'm gonna make the frosting using pumpkin puree date paste and coconut milk only the fatty part of the coconut milk as I said and to separate those two let the cans of coconut milk in the fridge overnight or one day or more i've let mine about a week or something and uh, i start by blending only the puree the coconut milk and the pumpkin pie spice until it's fluffy and is the consistency of stiff peaks and then i add the date paste my sweetener and 
it works here the date paste paste really works and gives it a really nice flavor and I've kept it so yeah blend everything together and it is smooth and delicious of a nice consistency and let it stay in the fridge in the meantime our sponge cooked on medium low heat and as you can see this is how the one that I used date paste in looks it's really really dense and not appetizing and this one is the one with the brown sugar and I've tasted the edges and it's delicious and fluffy and this is how it looks after I frosted it as you can see I love a lot of frosting between between my layers and it's delicious you have to try it and of course you have here the ingredients card and don't forget that you have the link for the written recipe in the description box also so this was my recipe for today as you can see it's not that hard to make it actually once you get it right but um, it is really delicious and that sponge it's so fluffy and that pumpkin frosting with that pumpkin pie spice and with the creaminess of the coconut give such a beautiful beautiful mouthfeel and it's a gorgeous cake to make for others too because it's something different and um, it's something fun I know my piping job is not that neat and I still have a lot of work to do in that area but I'm trying guys <laughs> really i'm trying and it was a lot of fun to put together this recipe because i love pumpkin and i love holiday recipes not only for christmas but all the winter holidays and the warm spices with the pumpkin with everything they are amazing and i love it and i hope that you're gonna like it too and if you make this recipe or any of my recipes please don't forget to take some pictures uh, tag me on Instagram, on Facebook, let me know in the comments if you like this recipe or maybe if you want other recipes, if you have any suggestions, I don't know, if you have anything to tell me, let me know in the comments because I love, love reading the comments from you and I promise to answer to them as usual and also I am gonna share another video Monday with you uh, and uh, I'm gonna announce some changes to the channel I'm going through some things but I don't want to make this video too long because it's already a, a long video and I don't want to bore you so I'm gonna share some more stuff Monday but uh, I just wanted to let this just like a heads up for you yeah thank you very much for watching i hope that you were not too bored with this video i hope that you like it and if you like what you see don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell button to know when i upload new videos and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next video until then bye and go vegan and don't forget that you're awesome